Greetings mortals, it's your overlord Christic, and today we have a battle here against a fellow YouTuber by the name of WDFA Matt. So go check him out, he's a great battler. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. But anyway, let's get right into the battle. Um, as you can see, I'm running a uh, my sand or sun team. What the hell am I talking about? Sun team with uh, my scissor over my uh, dragonite. Um, I wanted to compensate uh, for the rise of Terrakion and whatnot, so that's why I have a scissor. It's kind of a bad idea. Don't do it. But anyway, as you can see, he's running a sand team, and it looks very uh, stallish with the fortress, uh, Jellicent, Heatran core going on so that might be tough to break and uh, he also has a Tyranitar so uh, he has three viable stealth rockers but I'm thinking his Heatran is probably the stealth rocker for just is for spikes or toxic spikes and Jellicent is for spin blocking and by the looks of it the rest of us are basically cleaners for his team so we have a pretty uh, pretty uh, balanced matchup here um, we had a battle earlier when we were uh, playing each other and what happened was we got disconnected so he knows a couple of my uh, Pokemon's items and whatnot and I know a couple of his and what's gonna happen is like there's gonna be a little added level prediction and whatnot also I kinda said to do same moves just so we can be uh, just record the same like five moves that we did but um he decided not to do that and uh, not tell me so that was cool he, he let off with Dragonite the first time, and I let off with Ninetales, thinking he would uh, lead off with um, Fortress, but he didn't do that. He let off with uh, Landorus here, and as you can see, I'll switch out. So Anyway, let's get into the battle here. Um, he's going to lead off with his Landorus, and um, I'm going to lead off my Lilligant, predicting him to lead off with his Dragonite, because that's what he let off with before. But he didn't do that, so yeah, that's cool. Anyway, um, figuring here that he's either um, he's gonna go for the earthquake, um, because I didn't think he was gonna go for the U-turn uh, on the off chance I stayed in. So I went into uh, Lilligant basically um, to take a resisted earthquake. It was the best thing I had to take a resisted earthquake. Um, but he actually predicts that pretty well. Um, goes for the stone edge. It does a little bit more damage than uh, Earthquake would, obviously. And uh, anyway, uh, since I'm faster in sun, I'm going to uh, go for the Leaf Storm, which will KO, which is pretty awesome. Landorus is a big problem for my team, so yeah, it's always good to have one of those threats out of the way. And he... Uh, Send in Dragonite here. I switch into Heatran basically because with an air balloon I wall his entire set for about one turn. So this is a pre pretty uh free opportunity to set up my stealth rock to limit uh, Dragonite switch in opportunity, which is great. And um I'm pretty sure his Tyranitar is Scarf. So I went ahead and switched into Scizor just because I'm pretty sure Scizor can take a Scarf Stone Edge pretty well, but he actually ends up being Banded, so that does a lot. And I know Banded runs max speed, so I won't be able to outspeed and use superpower or anything like that. So I have to go uh, for the Bullet Punch, which he switches into Jellison if I went for uh, superpower or Bullet Punch, and that'll be beneficial for him. And uh, right here, I'm forced to switch out. I go into Ninetales just to get my son up here. And um, he actually taunts me, which uh, which is kind of unfortunate. I cannot go for the Will-O-Wisp or the Sunny Day. I actually carry Sunny Day on this Ninetales. Um, I don't anymore, but I did in this battle. So knowing that he's going to switch into his Tyranitar to uh, take advantage of the fact that I can't cannot Will-O-Wisp or Sunny Day, um, I switch into Infernape just so I can force him out here. Um, knowing that he's uh, slower than me, um, even if he was Scarfed, I, I'm Scarfed, so it wouldn't make a difference. But anyway, knowing that he's going to switch out, I go for the U-turn here, and it uh, doesn't do much damage, but it's not for the damage. Anyway, I switch into Lilligant to uh, 
I need to get rid of this freaking Jellison. It is walling my Infernape set, and I need to get it out of the way quickly. So, knowing that he's going to switch, um, I'm going to go for the Sleep Powder, just to sleep anything that comes in, uh, hoping that Dragonite will come in and get it, get a uh, Sleep Powder off. But he actually switches into um, Heatran, which is actually also beneficial for me, because... Uh, he can't set up Stealth Rock now because he is asleep, and as you can see, my team is pretty weak to Stealth Rock. So it's always great to have you no know, Stealth Rock on the field for you know a certain amount of turns. Anyway, he uh, switches or double switches into Dragonite, knowing that I can't Sleep Powder again, and I do carry the Hidden Power Rock. He probably thought I carried the Hidden Power Fire, but I do carry the Hidden Power Rock. So I didn't, I didn't really think that he would switch into Dragonite, but he did. And that kind of sucks because I actually went for the uh, healing wish here just to uh, take advantage of that one turn that Heatran had and use superpower on it to kill it. But he ends up switching to Dragonite, which is kind of bad for me. Now I'm forced to switch out. I mean, I could have went to the bullet punch, so I know it wouldn't have KO'd from that range. So I switch into um, Heatran, and it he does go for the outrage. It doesn't KO. And um, since I'm running uh, Timid max speed, I actually do outspeed and use the Hidden Power Ice, and that will knock out the uh, Dragonite. So that's another threat uh, taken out. So it's looking pretty good for me right now. He switches into Jellicent just to get his HP back because he knows that his or my Infernape is um, one of the things that can sweep his whole entire team. So he needs to have his Jellicent in a high HP range to wall me uh, efficiently and uh, now I use this opportunity to get my son up here and uh, go for the will-o'-wisp um, basically just get some residual damage on this Jellicent and uh, and maybe if he switches into Ty Tyranitar to get a sand up I would get that too and pretty much nullify uh, his attack so anyway I'm kind of fearing him switching into his um, Tyranitar, so I go for the Willows again, but uh, he ends up staying in, going for the Skulls again, I, which is unusual. I thought he would go for the Taunt again, just to make it so that I can't go for Will-O-Wisp again, um, get, therefore giving him a free switch into Tyranitar, but then again, I would just switch out into uh, Infernape, because it's the obvious play, but, you know, enough of that. Um, I actually go for the Solar Beam here, thinking that he wouldn't switch into Tyranitar, just in... Be and unless he did the taunt first. So I actually go for Solar Beam, which will do a pretty good chunk to Jellicent, considering it's a special defensive wall and whatnot. But um, after the burn damage, it's going to be pretty low, and I know it can't take another Solar Beam, so I'm going to switch out here, predicting him to switch into um, Tyranitar, which was a pretty terrible play. I... It was, I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, um, he actually switches into Heatran, and I'm like, oh shit, I can finally use my Hidden Power Ground Volcarona. And I realized that this Volcarona isn't my Hidden Power Ground one. So that was cool. And uh, no, not wanting to waste the switch in opportunity, I kind of just went for Quiver Dances and hoping that Bug Buzz would do enough damage. Like, I would get enough free turns of uh, sleep that I would... Um, be able to kill him. It, it was kind of silly, but uh, he goes for Roar here, um, which it's okay. He doesn't have Stealth Rock up, and then I completely forget that he doesn't have Stealth Rock up, and I'm thinking that he's going to go for the Roar again. Um, I do not want Volcarona in on the Heatran, so I switch into Volcarona. When it's, so if he goes for Roar, I'd be switching to another Pokemon, but he actually goes for Stealth Rock, so I'm like, oh, that was smart. So anyway, I waste a turn here, go for Bug Buzz, it does nothing. And uh, he goes for Roar here, uh, basically to get residual damage on me since he has Stealth Rock up now. And uh, he gets my Ninetales, and it takes a pretty good chunk from uh, Stealth Rock. And right now it's not looking for good for me because my Ninetales can't do anything to Heatran either. So anyway, I take a initiative to switch into... Um, Heatran, knowing that he's going to go for the Earth Power, but on the off chance that he didn't, um, I could get the Flash Fire Boost, and I'll probably be faster, because this seems to be a special defensive variant, and that's so how I can use Earth Power, but it 
that didn't happen. That was best case scenario, obviously. So anyway, I get the free switch in, into Inferno. He's kind of forced to switch. He doesn't uh, think that he can live a close combat. So I end up going for the U-turn here, just knowing that he was going to uh, switch. And he switches into Fortress, and uh, he knows I wouldn't go for the Flare Blitz, you know, on a Heat Tran. So um, he switches in that uh, Fortress, and here's gonna he's gonna make a pretty ballsy play here. I'm gonna um, go for no, thinking that he's going to switch mainly because I can just Fiery Dance and kill him, and that's another Pokemon that kind of walls Infernape. Um, he's gonna Volt Switch, so. Not only getting damage on my uh, Infernape, but he could have just died there. Wow, what a ballsy play. I mean, I guess he doesn't really need uh, Fortress, but still, I, I, I was flabbergasted that he did that. Anyway, he sends in Jealous in here, mainly to die. Um, I send in my uh, Infernape because, or I, I kill it with the U-turn because uh, Close Combat doesn't do anything, and I don't want to be locked into Flare Blitz because, you know, Heatron will come in. So I just go for the U-turn. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think Hidden Power Ice would... I don't want to be locked into any moves that I don't like, because the rest of his team... Each member of his team locks in, uh, blocks, like, one of the moves. So anyway, I go into uh, Volcarona here, basically um, to gauge what Pokemon he would switch into. He switches into Heatran, so I know he's going to roar. So I go for the uh, Morning Sun, basically to live another Stealth Rock switch in. And I actually get the lucky uh, switch in here, and I get get uh, switched into Infernape, which is actually pretty good for me. I know he's going to switch out here, so I'm just going to go for the U-turn uh, again. And uh, actually, no, I think I go for the f a close combat, thinking he's going to stay in, because he thought I would go for U-turn, and then he would go for Roar, getting more damage on me. But that is, um, but uh, he doesn't do that. He switches into Fortress, makes a safe play, and. Uh, takes that close combat fairly well. I know he's gonna go out to um he's gonna Volt Switch again. So I basically uh send in uh Volcarona and I'm pretty sure he's gonna switch into um Heatran again. So here we are back at this stalemate. And I'm gonna go ahead and go for the morning sun again just so I could live another stealth rock switch in. And um he's gonna just gonna go for the roar again and Hopefully, I will get Infernape again on the switch in, uh, just so I can threaten him out with uh, close combat. And I would, I would still go for close combat again on the off chance he stayed in. But he switches into me. He switches me into uh, Scizor here. Now, I didn't th think that bu a Bullet Punch uh, would um, make much of a difference. The minuscule damage that Bullet Punch would do, so I didn't bother going for it. Because I thought he would switch into Fortress, and I thought I could go for the f superpower, and but uh, he doesn't do that, and <laughs> Scizor got destroyed. Thanks, Lilligan, for wasting your life to save a Scizor that got roasted. So anyway, I switch into Infernape here, and I'm no, I'm thinking here he's gonna stay in. I'm gonna go for close combat again, and look at how much damage that does. Oh, if that bullet punch did around that much damage, I would have been very upset. <sighs> Because I could have had this Heatran dead, and I probably would have won the game. But now I'm really regretting that I didn't bullet punch, and that's just sad. So anyway, um, I switch into Volcarona here, uh, mainly as uh, what Death Fodder, because I know uh, Nine Tails can't do anything, and um, I'm gonna go for the Morning Sun here, and I thought that um. I should have predicted the uh, the Tyranitar switch in, but I didn't want to die from Stealth Rock again because I would have just lost. So he predicted that because I, I, that was the right move for me to make. So he goes for Tyranitar. And knowing that I'm faster, I can get off one good bug buzz and get some decent damage on it. And he goes for Stone Edge, and that's actually going to kill me. Or actually, yeah, like I would have survived this Choice Span freaking Stone Edge. But he hits and it kills me. And basically, it's down to the wire here. I have my Nine Tails, and he has his three Pokemon left. So I'm thinking, all right, Nine Tails, pull this out of your ass. 
I have Solar Beam, I have Flamethrower for his Fortress, and I have Solar Beam for Tyranitar. And he stays in here, and I kill with, Sol uh, with Solar Beam because he's not a special defensive variant. And that's excellent for me. I'm like, nice. Now all I have to do is kill his weakened Heatran and kill his Fortress with like Flamethrower. And I have this in the bag. Look how little his Heatran is. So I'm like, alright, Solar Beam, you can do it. Freaking kill this heatran all right just do it no you don't and fuck oh come on i could have beat won the game with nine tails come on that's where the where it's where the bullet punch damage really would have came in handy and i would have won the game but anyway uh it was a great game wdfa matt uh go check him out um and uh leave a comment subscribe if you want and do whatever um, to your overlord Christic and uh, I'm out.